The, uh, the Vanderbilt uh, hearing aid workshops do have uh, quite a history. Uh, they started, gee, I want to say way back maybe in around uh, 94 or so, uh, when Jay Hall was at Vanderbilt. He was doing some workshops in electrophysiology, and uh, he approached me and said, maybe we should try to do some uh, on hearing aids. So we started doing these hands-on workshop, and the hands-on part is, is important, and I'll get back to that in a second. And so we started doing, I think, three or four of them a year. And this, um, this went on for a long time. Uh, and then we took a break uh, because we were building the new building at Vanderbilt. And we thought, let's, let's wait and uh, start them up again when we have the new building. And so about five years ago, we started up doing these Vanderbilt workshops again. And now we're able to have the workshop, everything all right at uh, the Vanderbilt Clinic. Uh, which makes it uh, very easy for people because we have all the equipment, everything, everything there that we need. What makes these uh, workshops unique uh, is, is that we, we really do have hands-on and we get uh, tremendous uh, support from manufacturers from this. So we usually have three or four hearing aid manufacturers there, um, a representative from the company. They have all their fitting software. Then we have four or five manufacturers of pro mic equipment. And what we do is we pair up one manufacturer with a certain pro mic equipment. We switch them out. So the people attending uh, can really get familiar with different types of fitting software, different types of probe, probe mic measures. Um, now, there also is a didactic portion to it all. We usually start on a Thursday. Uh, we start Thursday afternoon, uh, and uh, that's mostly a lecture on Thursday. Then we start the hands-on portion. Uh, it's about half and half on Friday. We go all day Friday. We, we throw in a little bit of fun along the way. It's not all work. Uh, there's uh, rumors that there's been a, a tour of the Nashville Honky Tonks. Uh, that has happened once or twice, I must say. And then on Saturday morning, uh, Saturday morning is 100% hands-on. The other thing that makes this, this workshop unique is it's uh, generic. Uh, and, and that is that, that uh, we try to cover everything from every company as best as we can. So uh, it, we're not out there to say you, you really should use this technology or you really should use this equipment. In fact, that is sort of the toughest part of it because at the end, the attendees say, well, gee, if you were to uh, buy one of these products, what would you buy? Or if you need a new speech mapping system. And, you know, that, that's not the intent. In fact, it's just the opposite. Um, our belief is if we can expose people to everything that's out there, all the new hearing aid technology, all the new fitting methods, then they're really equipped to go make their own decision. And, uh, and usually I think at the end, uh, we have, uh, we, we have people leave that uh, feel they got a good learning experience and, uh, and maybe had some fun along the way. What we normally do um, is uh, we send out uh, a notice about the workshop occurring. Of We typically always have them in October. Um, I don't know that we'll all, every year will be in October, but you could plan that it would probably be September, October. Uh, a couple ways to find out about this workshop would be simply go to the Bill Wilkerson website. Um, that would probably be the best place. Or if you just contacted any of the administrative staff at, at Vanderbilt, um, do a Google on uh, Vanderbilt Hearing Aids Workshop, and, and I'm, I'm thinking it would show up. Um, usually we start taking registra registration around June or so. We do, because it is hands-on, uh, we do limit it to around 50 people. Uh, we found more than that. Uh, we, the individual people can just not, can't get enough of their own uh, personal experience. So we tend to limit to around 50 people, and that's about how many we usually have in a row. Uh, so yes, check it out.